Some of these congruence tests are easier to think about if you think about it in terms of can you build just one triangle with the information that you've given. So here we're going to look at angle side side which is actually not a congruence test and we're going to explain why, why it's not because in some cases it might look like it was. So angle side side, we're going to start off with three bits of information. The size of an angle, the length of a side and then the length of the next side. So that's what we're going to do, start with this angle. Imagine this long line here, well you've got to, you can't just start with an angle. This is like the workbench, this long line. And it might become part of the triangle later on, but certainly it's just a line there to give this angle something to be based on. You can make the size of the angle anything you like, um, but given that you're going to be making triangles, it's got to be less than 180 degrees. So we're going to go and make it around about 40 degrees or even 38 or 32, but you know, somewhere around there. So that's the specification you've been given. You've got to have an angle of 38 degrees. The next one, we're going to have a length of 3. Now again, this length could be longer or shorter, but once you've settled on your length of 3, that means that this point here relative to that point can't really be anywhere else. To be 3 uh, units away from a, then it has to be somewhere on this circle. And there's only one place on the circle where there's an angle of 38 degrees, and that is there. Um, right, so the next piece of information, angle side side, we're going to have a look at the length of the next side. So the spec is, have another length, side length, 4.1 units long. So again, it doesn't have to be 4.1, it can be uh, longer or a bit shorter. Once you've settled on angle 38, side length 3, next side length 4.3, then you might be thinking, well, there's nowhere else you can put that point. If it's going to, if this angle is going to be 38, and that means that this triangle, this line here, has to be part of the triangle, and from this point here, which can't be anywhere else, the only place that you can put a side length that's 4.3 long and have it touch this line is if it is exactly there, making this side length 6.25. So you might think, well, perhaps angle side side is would be a congruence test because if uh, some fabulously wealthy person has gone out and paid us to make strange shaped windows for a new house, and they say, well, right, well the angle's got to be 38, and then it's got to have a side length of 3, and another side length of 4.3, you might think, well, you can only build one triangle that way. But uh, if I had have said, build us a triangle, build us windows that are angle of 38, a side length of 3, and then a side length of 2, if they'd given that piece of information to you as the glazier, and you'd gone out and cut a bit of glass that was that big, and given the same information to me, and I'd gone out and built a window frame that was that size, we're going to look pretty foolish when we get to the building site and try and assemble our windows. So here it's a demonstration of why angle side side is not in the list of congruence tests. Basically because it's possible to build two different triangles from the same one piece of information. Well these three pieces of information, angle, side length and side length, don't guarantee that you're going to get a triangle of any different, of any specific shape or size. Because you can use the same information and build two different triangles.